So this is uh, this is going to be just a quick class on um, ninja huffing. So this is a good way to make ISK um, real quick, and uh, particularly now that we're the the fleet's deployed. If you're not going on a fleet, which I encourage you all to do, and um, you want to make some ISK, being in a wormhole is a great way not to get. You can still get killed, but people are coming to Brave Space specifically because we're deployed. And so, if you're trying to rat in a VNI and catch, you're going to be at more risk because there's not a standing fleet to protect you. So, in a wormhole, as long as you um, stay spoopy and watch out uh, for for it, other enemies use dscan uh, there's a lot less traffic so it's it's a way that you can get in also um, i love huffing because it's it can be a little bit afk and um, i was going to say something else <laughs> um, i like the, the afk aspect of it and uh oh and the ship itself is not worth very much and so you can quickly pay back the entire ship and just keep earn and then each additional load is just more and more risk whereas uh you know particularly with vni prices right now uh you're just the hole can be 160 mil so it can take uh how many ticks is that before it pays off i think it's you know eight um and so anyway the, the venture is very sim simple very cheap way to make some risk so yes, uh, Lindis, if you want to put a medium uh, shield extender on there too, uh, then you'll have a little bit of chance when the rats spawn. If they target you immediately, you might not pop. Uh, I'll go over my fit here. So if you guys want to open your fitting window and you can follow along and I have the video. So the most important things for this fit uh, are the gas cloud harvesters. Technically, that's all you really need. But having a micro warp drive is nice because when you get when we get to the gas, we're gonna have 15 to 20 minutes before it might even be 25, but 15 minutes um, minimum before there's rats spawn and uh, they'll kill us immediately. If well, you have to warp off as soon as they spawn. So that's why it's called ninja huffing. Um, and so if you have the micro warp drive, when you you warp to the site. There, that timer starts, and so you can um, micro warp drive to the gas cloud and start huffing a little bit faster. I do have a medium shield extender and adaptive invul, just uh, so I can, if I'm paying attention, I can take that 15 minutes. Sometimes they don't spawn immediately, and I can wait, and I'll, you know, have my combat tap up and wait for them to spawn. And usually, you can get away before they lock you. Or if you're unlucky, you'll take a hit or two. But if you've got a shield, hopefully you can do that. I do have rigs, but these rigs are actually here. Um, the anti-thermal screen rigs and anti-EM, that's because I was doing catch gas huffing, which we're not going to go over right now. Um, and those are more important there. You could have uh, other kinds of rigs there. Or maybe even scanning rigs, because you can use your core probe launcher and some um, and some just core probes to scan down the gas sites. They're all really easy scans for like level one. And also if you get if you forget to bookmark in the wormhole, having the launcher is a good way to make sure you can get out. Does anyone have any questions on the fit? On this particular one, I have a damage control too. I actually have another fit that I like that just uses an inertial stab that helps you warp around a little bit faster. Does anyone want to refit real quick, or are we good to go? Let's do it. All right. So today's wormhole is in YHN. And um, if no one's been in a um, intro to NullSec or intro to fleets, I'm, I'm going ahead and broadcasting an align. So I want everybody to align to, the, uh, to YHN. Hey, I'm going to fleet warp if everybody's okay with that. Leon, I see you're in a claw. I am too. Uh, I am not fleet boss. So everybody just go ahead and warp themselves to YHN. How are you not the fleet boss? Uh, the other jinx is the fleet boss, and I'm too lazy to change it. I'm <laughs> 
Go ahead and jump through, get a screen. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and go to Brave Drill Dome McCrabby just to, uh, as good practice, I'm just going to warp to zero. So if we were going to scan down this wormhole, a lot of times you could bring like a um, like the Dojo scanning ship, uh, Explo ship to pre-scan down all, um, all of the holes, and Coffee Break's actually done that for us. Hey. Um, so I'll have all the bookmarks this time. We're not going to go over actually how to scan. Uh, there's a lot of guides. The Expo guide on the wiki is really good, but if, if you have questions about that after the class, we can we can go over how ex exactly to scan these down. And also, we have um, a really active Brave Hole Divers uh, chat in Slack that can kind of tell you about where holes are or if there's gas huffing available. Coffee also buys a lot of gas, so we're probably going to sell all this to him in the end and break him. Oh, God. <laughs> and... Um, So again, we're not going to we're not going to go over the scanning. That is that is important. Um, particularly, we will go over one part of it, which is how to save uh, the different anomalies because you can't warp to them to save. You don't want to save it that way. You need to save it by right clicking in the probe window. So we'll go over that when we're we've got our fifteen minutes of huffing. Uh, so everybody, go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to warp to the hole here. Actually, I warped to the wrong one, so I, I'll fix that shortly. Too many bookmarks. Oh, it is the right one. Hey, there it is. That's okay. the right thing of formal stuff. Okay, everyone, so there's one exciting thing that we get to do um, today. So I want you to warp to me. To, so I'm going to X up. You can right click on me and uh, hit fleet, and you'll be able to warp to zero on me. So the exciting thing is, is there is a DRB, which is a really, really bad, angry rat on the other side of this hole. So, uh, to make sure that we don't die to him, everyone's going to, when we jump through, which don't do yet, when we jump through, everyone's going to uh, hold their cloak so you don't press any buttons. You're going to, and you're going to do this right now too, to save this side of the wormhole. Right click on, on the wormhole itself and say save location. And then uh, go ahead and, and just the default wormhole or so I put dates on, on wormholes a lot of times. Which requires me knowing the date. So does everyone know how to do that? That's really important for your safety. So right, right click, save location. Ah, uh, yeah, four two four or Mena. I'm not warping everybody this time. Are you? Is everybody at the wormhole? Yes. Hey, yep. Yes, sir. Okay, I believe that's everybody. Uh, so, 424, go ahead and right click on the wormhole and save location. Please X up and fleet uh, when, when you do. Yeah, Jinx Dojo is not coming. So, man, did, did you figure out how to save location? Four two four minute. Or did you figure out how to save location? 
right click save location I often put them in a um, I figured out this later but I, I have a bookmark um, save for just wormholes because they come and go you can delete them pretty quickly if it's all in a bookmark I mean in a folder I know we're going to have to go pretty soon. Is everything okay? All right. I don't, he's not in comms. So if someone wants to transcribe for him, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to do that for him. All right, so everybody jump through and hold cloak. Does that not mean anything to anybody? Okay, we're jumping through. You're holding cloak. Okay, he's not here, so we're okay. But oh, nice! Um, hopefully, he's not at our gas site. <laughs> so everybody, go ahead and right-click on the wormhole once you're through, and save location. And I name an exit. Exit a lot of times, and sometimes the date. Okay, does everybody have the exit saved? Yep. Yes. Uh, yep. Coffee, do we want the vast frontier or the vital? I was just double checking that. It looks like C320 is the most valuable. So that is, I'm looking up Ryuki's guide here. Yeah, let me um, link this. This is the instrumental me. core. That's the one we're looking for. So I, I just linked uh, the PVE Bible. And uh, if you go over to Gas Sigs, on, when you open it, if you go to gas sigs, it has lots of information. So the C320 only has 2,500 M3, so we won't get a ton of cycles on it. But the... Um, Wait, we got an instrumental core here. We can do that one. That one has a ton of C320. Oh, the instrumental core. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's good. All right. So, like I said, coffee was nice enough to... Um, pre-scan these things down. So I'm going to warp here, and then you guys are going to warp to me once I land. Um, if you if you're in the Brave Hole Divers chat, Coffee will often give you the um, all of the. Not, I'm not signing you up to do this, Coffee, but sometimes <laughs> you can convince people to scan for you, and then you can go in. But you can also use you can also scan. Um, if you scan, and then once you've got it you want to right click save location on the probe and we'll do that soon. So I'm warping and as soon as I've warped, so the information um, little tab pops up. Now we need to start a 15 minute timer. So it's now uh, 0219. So at um, 234, if I'm doing my math right, uh, the rats could spawn and it could, it could be at 20 or 25 minutes. So there's no rats here, so everybody go ahead and warp to me. Uh, how long does it take to fill up your ore hold? Um, so it depends on your skills, but it, it takes a, a decent amount of time. So th again, this is about the best gas. Um, I'll broadcast it. This is about the best gas you can have, and this is a lot, so we'll all be able to huff on the same one. One nice thing about wormhole gas is it doesn't actually damage you. So uh, if we were doing this, we couldn't do this with null set gas, which would explode every time we huffed. So you need to get 
uh, within 1500 meters, it's just as easy just to go, approach at zero. Go ahead and lock it up. Activate as many harvesters as you can on them. Um, it is good to turn off, remember to turn off your micro warp drive. One time I forgot and that extra speed when I was trying to rat spawn, uh, that was enough speed where they got a shot off on me. Ooh. Uh, Jinx. Yes. How can I add the gas cloud to my overview? Um, so if you see it, uh, if you have a mining tab, it should show up there. Or you, if you have uh, a, um, you can add an all tab. And then once you can see it in space, you can pick it on. I've actually got it on like even my combat tab just because I prefer. But once you've got it, so once you have one tab you can see it on, you can select it. And then you can uh, right click and um, add to overview. Yeah, if you hold control and then drag your cursor across the screen, it'll actually make a box and target everything in that box. And if you do that over the cloud, it'll target it straight away. All right, so some of you guys are on the uh, C540 and the C320 is going to be worth a little bit more, I believe. So if you want to come up here to this one. Uh, so th the other thing you'll notice when we're in here, so we've got uh, 13 minutes left to go, by the way, is so I'm just on the edge of the cloud and that's zero meters. And one thing you can do is if there were going to be uh, enemies in here, first of all, we should we could descan, make sure that we're the only people in system. So I see a lot of ventures. There's a scary claw, but I'm pretty sure that's Liana. Uh, so there's nobody else. But one thing you can do, and I have died because I didn't do this, is you can go ahead and manually pilot yourself into the center of the cloud. And then if anyone with a cloaky ship like an Astero or a Sabre or whatever, they try to come get you, the cloud will actually decloak them and maybe you have a chance to warp off. Do, uh, don't forget to stop yourself once you get further into the cloud. Uh, so you can see that you're starting to get, to, is everybody mining? Is everybody successfully mining? Yes, sir. Okay, so I've got like, so in um, wormhole gas, each one is sized a little differently. So it makes calculating this per hour a little bit difficult. I I put together a sheet, but I don't even believe it. The I think the C320 is is the best and the, the kind of looking at the total value of the cloud is a lot a lot of times a lot easier but what you can do if you wanted to figure out this per hour is you can look at the gas cloud harvester um mining amount you have to do show info over there i wish they would add it to the tool tip like a oh, man yeah. regular mining and then you can look at your activation time which is affected by skills so you have your mining amount and activation time and then each full right is uh has its own size so that that matters for how much you mine so sometimes if you go mine a different gas you'll get 40 units at once whereas i think right now we're getting eight but th because um they just have a different oh we're getting so we're getting four with two huffers going i mean four each so it makes the math a little bit harder oh is coffee is that do they does FuzzWorks already have the math worked out for us? They do a little bit. I'm not quite sure if it's really super updated, but it's generally a good guideline. But it tells you, like, ISK per, ISK per venture, so that kind of, like, takes out the entire fact, because it takes you half an hour to fill up a venture regardless. Or something like that. Yeah. So um, one thing we can do, again, if you brought pro um, probes, um, everybody go ahead and open the probe scanner window. So that's alt P or the scanners and it's the one on the left. So even if you don't have probes on you, you can, uh, if you select something that's already like the core Citadel or a core garrison, if you right click on there, you can hit save location. And that's a way that, uh, that you can add a bookmark. So when you come in, when you go into the hole, if you bring your hair in or probe or explosive, you can scan down 
each um, gas site and you right click once you've got it 100%, you right click and you hit save location and you save it. And the nice thing is it already has the name in it. So then when you come back in your venture, you can, you can pick which one you wanna go to. So it's really important to save them that way and not warp to them because otherwise you'll trigger the, the rats if you, if you warp to them. Um, Coffee did mention before the class that sometimes if this is someone's hole that they live in, they might go warp to all the gas sites because uh, to trigger them just to keep pesky ventures out. But I've, I've been huffing a lot like in the last month and I haven't seen that yet. I have died. You know, wormhole space is not completely empty despite local being empty. Don't talk in local if you didn't know that about wormholes. <laughs> no, no one knows you're here unless you talk and descan. So again, this is a pretty, um, pretty chill 15 minutes. So it's a good time. You know, if you want to go watch Netflix or do something, I'll even, I've even prep dinner in that 15 minutes, but you need to, I'll even set an alarm sometimes if I'm going to be that AFK. This also scales well to other accounts. Um, so I, I often do this with two accounts. Uh, what's even nicer than nin what we're doing is called ninja huffing because we have not cleared the rats. Um, and so that we have to leave. If, if you're in the brave hole divers, sometimes they will go into us and clear all the sites. Uh, and then you can go huff and you can huff the entire cloud out. So like this cloud here, this is the instrumental core. Uh, the total value of this cloud, so if you were huffing all alone, it would take a, it's six ventures full, it would be 326 mil. And that, I don't know if they're updating to GITA prices with that, but it's worth a lot of ISK. Yeah, it's a lot of money. And so we will do that for you too, if you ask in hole divers, like if you actually scout it out and see the hole and everything and just poke into there and ask us, usually somebody's online that can do it. But what you're saying. Um, so when we came in, I saw that the bookmark said that this was a C5 wormhole. Um, are there any, like, which wormholes are, are better than others when it comes to gas mining? Oh, Jinx, do you want to take it or should I? Okay. Uh, yeah, it, generally the higher class the wormhole, the better the gas spawns will be. Despite that, the gases will spawn in different classes of wormhole than they normally would. So this is an instrumental core. This only spawns in C5s and C6s. So this is like the very best gas signature there is in all of worm, wormhole space. But the, like sometimes you'll get a slightly better one. Like a, you'll get a sizable perimeter run reservoir, which is kind of like a C2, C3 site. You'll sometimes get that in a C1. They kind of fluctuate a little bit in terms of which class they'll go into. But yeah, generally the higher class the wormhole space you are, the better the gas is and it will be. And this is actually a shattered wormhole. You can tell because there's an epicenter beacon on your overview. And that means that nobody lives in here. So like there's, you can't anchor anything other than like mobile depots and mobile tractor units in here. So you can't put down a citadel and actually live out of this hole. So generally they have a lot more combat signatures and gas signatures. So whenever you see a shattered wormhole, we get excited in hole divers because we're like, oh, okay, that's probably like... 20 combat signatures and maybe 10 gas sites that nobody has touched because nobody lives in it. It's also kind of rare for there to be like nullsec entities that do wormholes pretty seriously. We, I don't know why, but we kind of got out of hand with it and now it's just kind of a hobby for a bunch of us. Sounds like a group I should look into joining. Oh, totally. No, actually, join it right now. Are you in Slack? Uh, yes. Yeah, totally. Here, I'll repost what the channel name is here in Fleet Chat. All right, so this is kind of your four-minute warning. Um, if, if like, this is really nice gas, so if this is a lot of ISK for you, uh, you might want to choose to warp out before the rats even spawn. Um, and that, so that is kind of the most stealthy. So pick something to warp to and be ready to do that. I've even... Um, once it gets set to the minute, I've even kind of pre-opened the warp to, and just go to the star, or the epicenter, and you're going to go somewhere else after that. But you you want to make sure that that you are ready for for the rats because 
they're they're gonna kill you. You can't you can't tank them at all. Like I haven't I haven't uh, seen if I'm gonna be able to get away from from this particular site's rats before. I will, uh, depending on you know how risky you want to be, we can wait, and and I will wait this time just to see if it's 50, if it is fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, and and it does vary. Yeah, Storm is saying. So one thing I do find it fun about this is that you know you you can do other things. Um, you don't have to worry about your drones getting shot at, which I know a lot of people have annoyings with. I I will go do dojo stuff and do handouts while I'm making ISK on another character. Uh, I actually have uh, one character that is in a hole full time with Spoopy, and so I can even even if there's not a good hole in GE, I can go in their hole and and huff from there. So I do too much of this right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm even a decently skilled character. I get like 14, 15 mil ticks with my V and I. And uh, I don't know, this is just a nice break. I, I wouldn't say it's like a full on replacement, but it, it really is a nice break. Plus, you know, there could be other fun things that people do in wormholes that I don't know about. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are. Yeah, yeah it is a nice break. We just used to mix it up, but go on. Yeah, another thing with this, I mean, also just being ninja huffing, uh, anything in wormholes is opportunistic because you're not going to be able to, sometimes you're going to log in and there's not a good hole, or the only good hole is eight jumps away and you don't want to go over there. So, it, you know, I, I usually take the opportunity when, it, when, when I can. Also an important thing for if you do want to take this a little bit more seriously, it scales really well with a really small amount of SP. Like, you don't need the prospects. Technically, a well-skilled Avenger huffs just as fast as a prospect. A prospect is just safer and has a bigger cargo hold. But, um, like, the T2 gas cloud, or the skill gas cloud harvesting, when taken all the way to level 5, is one of those great skills in the game, kind of like Recon Ships 5 or Logistics Cruisers 5, that really, like, changes the game of the ship that it's in. You can get T2 huffers, which I think it's... 30% shorter cycle time, but 50% greater return uh, per cycle on your harvesters, which is a really huge boon. Like, it takes probably a week to skill into, but it's a really great skill if you want to take do this a little bit more. I got a one one minute warning. So if anyone wants to save the risk, they should probably warp out now, or you can just you could even pre-align. So do they instant lock you when when they they, they get will in? try to lock him immediately? I'm feeling lucky. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like I'm, I'm gonna wait until I land and see if I can't get away. I've gotten but, away every time, but I mean, one time I got away in like twenty percent uh, structure. So it was only because I had the the extra tank. I gotcha. And there's a little bit of variability in it, like it's 20 minutes plus minus 5 sort of thing, so it's kind of, it could be a little sooner, it could be a little later, you don't, never quite know, because everything's weird in wormholes. Yeah, I've heard the same kind of stuff around ghost sites with uh, exploration. I yeah, never exactly. got into exploration, though. It's good stuff. And ghost sites are fun. I keep on constantly losing Astros to them. Like, I thought I was good at them at one point, but oh, I'll always whelp something. Then another time I'll get all four cans in, like, less than two minutes if I'm really good at hacking and caffeinated. So, you know, like, another thing to tell other people that didn't take the class is, like, what we have about 20 mil of, uh, if you have, I think I have Mighty Venture 4 on this tune. Oh, everybody get out. There we go. Who's the lucky target? Did someone warp to the sun? Warp to something? Out, out, everybody out. Warp off. Warp to the sun or back to the windmill. Uh, we can actually continue huffing because there's lots of sites. So if you want to, I think that is pretty much the end of the class. But if people want to continue huffing, they're free to. I will get us to another. Um, what's next? The best. 
with the vast? Uh, I think or vital. The... Vital, yeah, vital core. All right, I'm warping to the vital core, and you guys can warp to me. So, does anyone have any last questions? Uh, so, what you can do is, uh, I think the buybacks, the buyback or Alvantis would accept this, but Coffee also accepts it for 95% G to buy. Ooh, 100. Wait, have you been oh. doing it at 95? I do it for less because I am a crazy huffer. Oh, dang it. Okay. But yeah, we do it 100%. Okay, so Coffee Cake does 100%. Uh, if you want to go ahead and warp to me, there's a little bit of C320 here. I'm going to huff the C540 just because it's a little less isk, and I'll leave it to you guys. Do the rats ever go away? No. OK. I think I've seen after downtime they would go away, but someone could have come and cleared them. It's, it's hard to tell. And the stuff this gas is used for is uh, in T3 production. It's kind of like the main component that you you react it, and then you make a component part, and then you make like T3 destroyers, like confessors and jackdaws, or you make components and hulls for like T3 cruisers, like Lokis and Tengus, that sort of thing. Which is a really weird, long, confusing production chain. But if any of you are interested in it, talk to me sometime. It's kind of fun. Uh, just for the recording, I, what I was typing is that the I included the buyback link to the uh, the wiki, and what you do is you end up making a contract to them worth with the value, and then they accept it. Uh, for um, for coffee, you're gonna make a contract to them and look up on Eve Prazel, which is the uh, the brought buy, and I'll link Eve Prazel. Yeah, Storm, that looks good. See, you, you're on the clock. I didn't have the clock. Yep. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> uh, so I, I will often be risky and be like, uh, it was like 15 minutes ago and just be ready to warp <laughs> away. That was probably the time that I was in 20% structure. So no one got blown up, right? I think we're good. It's kind of crazy to see. I don't think I've seen this many ventures on a wormhole cloud before. Well, now you you'll be getting more gas, so. Yeah, right. I guess. And don't feel obligated to sell to me. You definitely don't have to. It's just kind of a meme that got out of hand. That we're like, we were doing the C5 combat sites and in a remote le rep battleship fleet, like Dominix's and Next Nesters, and that's what we do in the whole divers. But uh. We were under, like, we have all the salvage. wonder if we try to build something with it. So I started buying all of it, and then I started buying all the gas, and then I figured out reactions, and after I sunk, like, 10 bill into it, we finally figured it out. I mean, it seems like the best option. Um, it's either that or, like, shipping it down to G to myself. Yeah, right. Like, it's... <laughs> well, and buybacking it, I mean, that's what the other buybacks are doing. Yeah. That's right, you make jackdaws for Intosis Warfare. I was on a three-hour fleet for one of those. So. Oh boy. Very nice. I saw that there's a fleet. So going on, fleets are very important for the Coalition, so remember that. Oh, absolutely. I just, I wish it wasn't, you know, three hours of ships spinning around a gate waiting for people to attack. Yeah, Your alliance there. thanks you. I'm doing my part. <laughs> So uh, I think I'm going to stop the recording unless anybody has any other questions. All right, thanks for coming. Uh, please join the Brave Hole Divers. Hit me up for questions. I'm sure Coffee would take questions. Uh, 35 minutes. I think that's a record short class. Ooh.